Hello. Well, you know, sometimes you see an advert that says no job too big or too small. In this case, it's just no job too small. It's a screwdriver set from Poundland. Now, well, let's find out if it really is uh, capable of some small jobs. I'm going to test it for three things. Fit, because of course, the quality of the fit in a screw is really important to not damaging the screws. Secondly, uh, how strong it is and whether it stands up to some tough screws and doesn't chew up. And thirdly, how easy it is to use, for example, getting into awkward spaces and, and general usability. Right, let's get stuck in. It comes in a blister pack, not my favourite, but I imagine that these parts will store in the top of the uh, screwdriver. So it has these interchangeable bits. These are small bits, not the size that you more commonly get uh, on these interchangeable ones. I do have an older screwdriver set here from another manufacturer, not quite sure which one. I've had this for some years, and that has interchangeable parts too. Be interesting to see if they're interchangeable. Right, let's get this thing out of this blister pack. Okay, so let's firstly have a look at the design. So it does indeed have a removable back, so we can store the screws, screwdriver bits in there, that's good. Not a fantastic fit, but for this sort of price, you know. So is that magnetic attachment? Yes. Which has a um, usually advantage also that if you have a magnetic screw, it will cause the magnetic field to travel along the screwdriver bit and hold the screw as well. But in some cases, uh, magnetism might not be so good. We have some tapes here. Now, uh, most of these tapes are magnetic, are uh, metal formula tapes and won't easily erase, but uh, some will. Let's start by looking at this. This is a Video 8 tape. Normally I'd take that apart with a quite expensive screwdriver here, which uh, fits these screws beautifully. Let's see if one of these bits fits. Now, we can go into the whole discussion about the difference between Phillips and PosiDrive, uh, but if we look closely at these bits, we should be able to see what they are. Okay, so that's Phillips size 00, zero Phillips size 1, hex 2.5, not the world's most useful part, a small flat blade screwdriver of 2mm, 3mm, a 1.5mm flat blade screwdriver, and a hex of 1.5. Might be a slightly unusual choice of sizes they've gone with the hex drives of 1.5 and 2.5. Um, I have 1.5 and 2.5 hexes already in this um, decent quality uh, um, Allen key set, so I'm not sure how useful they are. Uh, then we have a, the flat blade ones and um, probably the most important are the Phillips, so it's PH00 and PH1. Now this is a PH00, so that's the best comparison. 00 should be ideal for opening the uh, videotape, so uh, let's give that a whirl. It doesn't feel very convincing. It feels like it's a bad fit. So what's wrong? This PH00 screwdriver fits beautifully on these. It feels like something's wrong here. That's one of my PH00 screwdrivers and it's such a good fit. This one's a little bit worn, but it's such a good fit that it can almost hang on to the screw, screw itself. And here's another one. There's another PH00, good quality one. You know, that is a proper fit. But our pound one doesn't appear to be a PH00 at all. It just doesn't seem right. It's far too big. Let's look at it under a microscope. So here are my two quality branded PH00 screwdrivers. The top one has little wear. Uh, and you can see the size of those. Now let's bring in the uh, pound one. Now looking at the uh, pound and one, which says no job too small, but clearly that is way too big. Vastly bigger than the uh, this one here. And so it simply won't fit in the screw. So we'll uh, show you how the screw should fit. So that's how it should fit, and the other branded screwdriver, this one has a little wear, 
Perfect. The Poundland one, it just will not fit in there. It's just far too large. So, um, it's failed on the first uh, hurdle. What happens when I look at this uh, other set I have here and look at the PH00 on that? How does that fit? As with the other branded screwdrivers, that's good. I want to have a look at the um, PH0 on this one because I have a feeling that might be what we have here where it says 0, zero I think they have uh, got a size problem. Well, the branded one, even the um, PH0 is a better fit than the um, one pound one, zero, 0, so it's bigger even than that. The base of it is actually closer, I think, to that one, which is a PH1 from the uh, branded set. While I'm looking at the branded set, let's uh, just see if the parts are interchangeable. They do seem to be, yes. So that's obviously a standard size, a standard smaller size. Another set here from Rolson. Now, Rolson tools are uh, relatively modestly priced. Let's try the uh, PH00 on this one. Uh, they don't appear to be marked, which is a bit infuriating. But yes, that's a good fit. So having failed so fundamentally with that uh, size screw, is it of any use for anything else? Let's try this old-fashioned VHSC tape. It seems to grip that reasonably well. Or here we have a beta tape. Maybe it's one size too small for that. No, that feels about right. That's That feels good. I'll try that larger size as well on the uh, beta tape. There's a little bit of slop in it, so it may not be the right size. I like this grip. This is quite nice. It gives you something to really hold on to and get some torque on it. I'm going to um, apply a little bit of excess force on this and check that it doesn't chew up. So I'm going to over tighten this screw. I'll um, over tighten with both of these screwdriver bits, the, the zero, 00 and the 1, and then look at the condition of the bits. So that over tightening doesn't appear to have done any uh, significant damage. So they are reasonably strong, and it says. Um, chrome vanadium so you know the, the bits themselves are reasonable I had wanted to demonstrate uh, the smallest item here the smallest screwdriver bit with some really small jobs but uh, since it failed on video 8 I can't see it doing much with uh, some really small jobs like this micro MV tape so where it says no job too small I'm afraid it's completely wrong that job's too small How about the one on uh, the size on mini DV? As was pointed out to me the other day, some mini DV tapes are screwless designs. They're awful. No, it's just spinning around on the top. It just, it either can't get into the slot or it can't get to the screw. Oh, here we are. I think that one's in the slot, but it's a bad fit. It's a terrible fit. And it should have been like that. And it's described as a mini tech screwdriver, so uh, let's try on some tech. How about undoing the screws on a camcorder? No. Completely the wrong size. So to sum up, uh, I do like the feel of it. I like that gripping uh, piece there. I like the fact that you can store the uh, pieces in the back. Um, I like the uh, magnetic attachment. Um, so usability is quite nice, though, of course, in some instances, like here, you've got a, a very shallow uh, slot to get the screw into, and the thickness of the shaft on this won't allow you to, whereas uh, a proper screwdriver would. Uh, so they're not perfect for all jobs like that. The biggest problem, of course, is the selection of bits they're provided and the naming of them. So I'm not sure 2.5 and 3.5 hexes are that important. Uh, these flat bladed ones, they seem okay. You don't get a lot of very small flat bladed jobs, but you might find them useful for spectacles, for example. 
the PH1 bit seems okay. Uh, the PH00 is just completely the wrong size, and I unfortunately can't recommend it because of that above all because most people who buy something like this that is the the size they're going to use most they're chrome vanadium so they seem reasonably strong uh, and a little bit of abuse didn't seem to do them any harm so it's not completely useless but uh, the ph00 size is which is a great disappointment i hope you've enjoyed this quick review of the poundland no job too small screwdriver but unfortunately most jobs are too small for it. Please remember to like, share and especially subscribe and I'll do a lot more content on audio and video technology in the near future. Bye for now. <laughs>